When you launch Capture One for the first time, it will be presented in this, the default workspace. If you ever need to return to it, simply browse to Window, Workspace, and choose Default. The workspace is essentially divided up into four different areas. We have the tool tabs and tools on the left hand side, the viewer in the center, the browser on the right hand side, and the toolbar at the top, which also contains the cursor tools. Looking closer at the tools, each of the tools are divided into these tool tabs, which are divided into different categories, like for example, exposure, as we're looking at here, and color, as we're looking at here. The tool tabs follow a basic workflow, so all the way from browsing your library or catalog, all the way through to final export. The viewer shows the currently selected image over on the browser in the right hand side. Uh, to zoom to 100%, I can choose the pan tool and simply double tap, and then double tap to zoom back out. Alternatively, I can use the icons up here on the right hand side, simply click once to zoom, and then to zoom back out again, like so. The browser shows the currently available images in your current collection, for example, your selected album or folder of images. Multiple images can be shown in the viewer simply by shift clicking, for example, which will then lay up all the four images together like so. In the toolbar, we have various buttons that either perform a shortcut or toggle views on and off, like exposure warnings, which we can activate like so. In the center, we have the cursor tools which change the behavior of the cursor, anything from a simple select tool to something like the crop tool. When the crop tool is selected and we crop our image, like so, the crop tool will stay active until we select another tool, for example, the select tool. Most of the tools in Capture One work in a similar way. Obviously, sliders can be click dragged to adjust. To see the effect of the slider temporarily, just click and hold the name itself. To reset any slider to zero, simply double tap anywhere on the line. To preview the effect of all the sliders in a given tool, simply Alt click or Option click the reset button. And finally, to reset all values to zero, simply click on the same reset button like so. A huge variety of actions in Capture One can be done with shortcut keys. For example, something simple like hiding the viewer can be done with the shortcut key shown here. If you wish to customize any of the shortcut keys, which you can do, simply go to Edit Keyboard Shortcuts. If you're on a Windows machine, you'll find this in the Edit menu instead.